Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing this fun-filled day? Hopefully you're all doing well and are ready for some more, some more fun. <laughs> Hi, everybody. All right. Let's go ahead and get going on this, shall we? Right. Let's hop in there and get started. Sorry if I do extra sniffling. I just got through sneezing just a minute ago, and er every time I sneeze, it makes my nose run, so I'm probably going to be a little bit sniffly. But if need be, I've got tissues nearby. Well, it looks like it's going to be another one of those where it takes its sweet time getting us logged in. That's all right. If you remember, we were on a rocky thing, a rocky rock, and uh, we had just gotten the uh, Sky Shard, and we had um, two more to go. So, right, that means I'm going to have to end this and the, the Facebook one so I can look it up. All right. Um, Night Mother's Evangelist, huh? That's kind of nice. What was the other one? Erstwhile Sanctuary. Okay. Furnishing pack. Sithis. The Dread Father. Why is it that they're making us buy him now? They were giving him away for uh, the statues for free. Oh, that is too cute. Sovngarde Saber Cat Cub. There's a statuette. Kinlord Nympharian. So I'm going to have to get him. Yeah, I got that already. All right, let's see. Whoops. Go ahead and, whoops, get it for me, select, confirm. Okay, um, as you can see, there's that sky shard that we had gotten last. So first thing, notifications, general, oh yeah, statuette. It's not what I was after. Daily reward. Yeah, we we'll use that with her. Okay, um, so now we need the map. And, oops, wrong button again. Okay, so we have two left. All right. I don't know why my charge cable is being a pain. Ah. It hooked on to the handle on my recliner. All right, so Google, um, in the darkest depths. No. <sighs> Helps if you spell the words right, doesn't it? In the darkest depths of Orcrest. Um, whoops, we need a comma. Where all the pipes converge. Right there. All right, whoops. Okay. Um, I was hoping to see better maps, but I guess this is going to be the one to go to see where it's at. All right, um, number 11. Okay, so I know where we're headed. <clears throat> so let's see what we have. 
Um, okay, so we are somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where we're at. Where was our little marker? Ah, who knows. Um, so we need to go to Orcrest. Uh, the closest one is... Looks like... Oh, jeez, the stitches way short. Oh, there we are. Well, shoot, we're not that far away. Not that far away at all. I think we could just ride it. To be honest. Ugh. Maybe. Let's see if we can get down without getting ourselves killed. I remember we came up this way. Alright, here we go. Alright, I want to make sure... Okay, yeah, we're headed the wrong way. <laughs> but we're... we're we, got da we got down. What's... Oh, yeah. I was wondering what was illuminating that. It was just that lantern. Okay. So, still, we need to... At least I know we don't have to go down. Of course, that's not helping any, because, well, we kind of are. Whether we want to be or not. What is that? Oh. Bad guys much further. Oh, we still got a long ways. Well, it's not that long, actually. Boom! I'll try to avoid as many enemies as I can while I'm doing this. Just because it takes long enough as it is. Let's see. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. Good. Got. Yeah. Darn it. Hey, I hit a button. Why didn't you do anything? Right, is this the way to go? Looks like. At least, hopefully. Oh, shoot. I don't want to go into a building. But maybe I have to to get out. I don't know. I don't remember. Can I get on the mount? Yep. For now, anyways. All right. Yeah, Orcrest, if you remember, was where all the damn vampires were. So, what is that? Is that a... I can't tell what that is. I think that's ore. Yeah, it's probably pewter. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah! yeah. Woo. Well, at least we only have two left. And then, folks, we're going to be saying goodbye to elsewhere. As far as questing and adventuring. I mean, we'll come back when I have to do, like, crafting and stuff like that. Where are we? Okay, we're getting there. Um, I see where it's supposed to be. All I have to do is... Looks like get around that corner. Yeah, I've noticed sometimes when it makes that popping sound, the uh, game will just kind of temporarily freeze. I wish I knew what ESO... Uh, what ESO's problem with uh, OBS is. Because that's what's doing it. The two are just you know, mad at each other for some reason. I don't know why. Because that's the only time it does it. I mean, I could play the game normally, not streaming, and... Wait, what is that? What was that? Filbert CN. Ooh, we got a quest giver. Wow, 
hell? Son of a gun. Um, well, let's see where we are right at the moment. Um, okay, let's see. I want to see where he's at so that way I don't lose it. Um, just right there by that other dungeon. Okay. So, we'll come back uh, to him because I want to see... Oops. This is show outside or inside Old Crest. Looks like this is where all the pipes converge. So let's actually see if we can go actually go inside. Now, so that is that up there where we need to go? Looks like. Oh man. Oh, we're gonna run across. Oh, that's uh, what's his face? Never mind. Why now? Why is it a dungeon now? So it's so we wouldn't go in. It's got to be outside the building because if that's a public, well. Orcrest discovered. Well, we discovered it. I wasn't trying to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Um, I was trying to actually get on that side to see where the... I'm going to do this without getting myself killed. Probably not. How about that? I've never done this before, and I know there's no need to. Now what? Now watch, I'm going to be... Ah! <laughs> Almost kill myself. That was real slick. So where... I see where we're supposed to go... But I think it's probably up there somewhere because this mentions pipes. How do I get up there? I almost had it. Let's see. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> yeah, because don't, we don't go inside. Because that's a, a public dungeon. Let's see. Can we get... Let's see. I don't know. You probably think if you don't need to do it, then why are you doing it? Well, because. <laughs> All right. Let's see. There's got to be some way of getting to where we need to go. So, why? Well, we'll figure it out. It's up there somewhere. So we've got to. Find a way up. Should be too hard. It's like he says that now. What was that? Iron ore? Oh, that was dumb. I moved before she was done. There we go. Got to be a way up. Because we're so whoa, something's lit. Oh, just a mushroom. For a second there, I thought it was wood. Uh, I was gonna say, um, we are so close to being done. I'm not going to get that mushroom. Good heavens. And I bet you these are bad guys, aren't they? Yes, they are. Dang it. So we're just going to ride past them. At breakneck speed. Um, yourself. Um, whoa. No. Ran out of stamina. Darn it. 
I'm just wanting to get over here so I can avoid them if I can. No. I know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end up with a big, well, that didn't last. Lasted longer than I actually thought it was going to. Holy crap. Lock on your target. <sighs> oh, you're just gonna lurk, huh? Huh, Mary? That's fine. Um, where am I? Jeez, we're so far away. Um, dang it. Um... I know there's a way to find it. I don't know where it is. And that's gonna say... Yeah, the ossuary. We're not going to the ossuary. Alright. I think I'm going to have to end up just actually reading the directions. I know. A man reading directions. Oh my god! It's The world's coming to an end. Well, let's see what the hell it says. Because I'm not sure. Um... Let's see. This is one of the best hidden sky shards in Elsewhere. You really need to rely on the clues from the title and to think a bit outside the box. First part of the sentence, in the darkest depths, is the key to everything. It points towards the fact that this one is found at some lower underground part of Oakrest. Okay, the entrance to the area where all the pipes converge is called the sewer access as you find yourself at the gates of Orcrest. Continue forward, but keep to your right. Go to the left of the pathway with the broken wheeled cart. Okay, what now? As you find yourself at the gates of Orcrest. Continue forward, but keep to your right. Go to the left of the pathway with a broken wheeled cart. Sheesh. Ah. Uh, I was really kind of hoping it would let me. Um, shoot. Yes, we're heading back. No, oh, say so what the heck is that up there? Who is a camel? Okay, let's see. Uh oh. Hmm. Someone's been out here and seen dead scorpions. Let's see. Our little puppy runned out of stamina. Luckily, it doesn't take long to refill. Yeah. See? <laughs> okay, we are going to go up this way. Because we're going to see what they're see what they're talking about. Up oh, harpies. Okay, let's see. Now he says the the, Trusty, he said. Believe in our the Lord of gates of Oakrest. He says, stay to the right and a wagon wheel. Or a wheel. I don't see that, do you? 
Let's get up. Further away. Because I'm not seeing any broken anything. Let's go up here. Well... Confused. Let's see what else it says. Um, the entrance to the area where the pipes converge is called the sewer access. No, I didn't do that on purpose. Yeah, I see that. Don't go in, do we? So he wants in the area of the darkest ochreous depths. It makes it sound like we have to go in. That doesn't make sense. Well, let's look again. I mean, I'll, I'll get it one way or the other. If I have to buy the stupid thing, I will. So we actually have to go inside? It can't be but it's a dungeon. Well, let's find out. I don't know what else. because it, Unless maybe it's just the first part. Because I know he's wanting us to save people. Periite! That's the guy's name. The god of disease. I knew I knew it. Yeah. I don't remember having to having to do this. But yeah, this is this is a this is a dungeon. And it's not meant for um one person. Cause these the enemies are a lot stronger. I'm just going to run and see where it takes me. Well, I went too far, didn't I? Well, actually, I know what I'm going to do. Right here. It's one way. Okay, so... It was showing that. Sewer access. All right. 
right, so let's see what it says. We got in. Um, whoops. Okay, so we have to go to the, we have to make it to the central part. Okay. Hmm, what was that? Just a skeever? A diseased skeever. Whoops. I'll try to see if I can get us where we need to go without fighting. I don't it's bugging me because I don't remember having to come in here. Well, there it is. Because I never fought these slimes. I never did. I So... I don't know how I got this one. I honestly don't know. I'm going to do it the hard way. I mean, if I die again, that's okay. I don't care. Well, we got it. But like I said, yeah, I don't... Oh! Nord... Norded Gloop the Clog. That's the, that's the boss. <laughs> Let's not do that one, okay? Let's find out where the other one is. Um, all right, we just need one more. Um, on an altar deep within the Rimen Necropolis... Why is it in a dungeon? Ah, they're not. Sp I thought they weren't. They didn't put put them in dungeons. Maybe they did. Well, obviously. Um, shoot. Um. Let's see if we can't. Let's see. I I want to make sure how I am seeing what is that what it actually says. Oh, on an altar. I forgot the on on an altar part. On an altar, oops, deep within the Rimen Necropolis. I know where the necropolis is. I don't need to know where the necropolis is. I, I need to know where the uh, where the sky shard is. So the only thing I can think of is that the ones that were in actual dungeons that I, I didn't do, which I could have sworn I got them all. All right, so you can't mount while crouching. Why not? That seems like a dumb rule. Yeah. So I guess I guess I'd forgotten that there are uh, sky shards in the public dungeons. So that means either you have to go in with a group and get them, or 
don't get them at all. Well, I mean, you could probably try to sneak in. I mean, we did that one. <gasps> That's going to be a rough way down. Shoot, because I really don't want to fight that Minotaur. I want to just kind of do this and get out. An altar deep within, of course. Why? Ugh. Now, I know I've dead run before to get something, but I don't believe it was here. Saliva uh, can live with your constant glowing, but not your constant talking. I remember that. The sword of Khajiit doesn't want to carry his ancestor's ashes around. Your great, great, great grandmother. Spent a lot of gold on this urn. There must be someone who can get rid of you and help you. Yeah, we. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can figure out where it's at. Is it going to show or not? Okay, so we have to go right there. Oh, man. So, on the right, not the uh, top little kind of roundy thing with the perpendicular lines in it, but just below off to the right is where we have to, have to somehow make it. And I'm not picking up the quest. Ah, it was worth a shot. I wanted to see if I could get on, get on my mount. I mean, I could just dead run it. I've done, like, you know. I'll try to avoid enemies as much as possible. Let's see. There are people fighting way up there, so I'm going to head that way, because that means those enemies are being I remember this area we went in here before with somebody there's two like mini bosses they're like lieutenants oh I thought those I didn't know those were stairs I was about ready to have a little minor heart attack Uh, is there a way of getting up? Where's the other part? Is it up here? Maybe? <gasps> Yipe! Holy... No, 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 no! Oh, dang it! I was... No... I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Yes. They got me, uh... Um... <sighs> pinned, somehow. Like a trap. That's why I, I stopped moving there several times. There it is. I'm not going to try to pick any to do it yet because Oh, they're not they're going to whoa. Something sound like it moved. Shit. <laughs> So there's one of those bone colossus that I said I don't want to fight. I'm going to let it kill me. I don't care. Because I, I, I got it. So then I'm going to tell it to t 
take us to the way shrine. Saliva can live with your constant glowing, but not your constant talking. That was what weird. What sort of Khajiit doesn't want to carry his ancestors' ashes around? Your great, 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 great. Your great, 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 great. <laughs> Did I just summon Periite? No, no, that, um, outside the, um, whatever it was called, Orcrest, there's a quest giver. He's a worshiper of Periite. And I don't remember what he wants you to do. Okay, um, we need to... Hmm. I want to see if I can get us to that other dragon. Because we've killed two out of three for the quest. So I'm just going to see if I can get us there. Um, I've got to go west. Kind of, yeah. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. I'm a bit confused. get there. Don't know. Probably not. But that's okay. Of course, I ran out of stamina. Mike, he doesn't, the little symbol doesn't look cracked and broken, which means he's close to death. It just looks like a dragon head with crossed swords behind it. Oof. How many people are fighting him? Not enough, I don't think. Also, one thing, if you didn't know, um, when you get really low or out of Magicka, if you're using a Magicka uh, character, um, the heavy attacks with your staff will help replenish your um, Magicka. It will help fill your bar. Where'd he go? I heard him land. Didn't I? Yep. I did. There isn't. There's enough people. It's just gonna make it. Ah, uh, it's just gonna make for a long, a long battle. But we've got him. What? About down to about a third. Now, if it doesn't. 
And if he doesn't die first, I'm going to try to try my best to use up all my magic, so that way you can see. Uh, whoop. So you can see my blue bar, how low it is. Whoa, shit! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> I think I hit him, attacked him too many times and it pissed him off. <laughs> he came after me. Okay, now watch that blue bar. Watch how quickly it fills up after this attack ends. Look at that. Almost completely filled it up. We've about got him. I'm not going to use my ultima or ultimate attack because it would just be wasted, I think. Oh! Ass! And he just died, too. That happens. That happens sometimes. I don't mean getting killed, but I mean getting killed and then, like, a couple of seconds later, the dragon dying. This guy, oh, wait. You can't do anything while you're in ghost form. Yeah, when you're when you're transparent like that, right after you've rezzed, you're kind of like a ghost. Uh, you can't attack, um, and you can't be attacked. You're basically invisible to enemies. So that's definitely a good thing. All right, so now we have to go. Um, <laughs> complete quests in Rim and Necropolis. No, we're not doing that. Wrong button. Let's go to journal and quests. Is that all? Dragon hunt. Huh. All the other quests are gone. So we did get them all. Okay. Um, actually, where is the closest? Ugh. How much is it going to cost me? 230. Or... I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna pay to get to, to go. Because, well, we've been at it almost an hour, and still got a lot, well, still got stuff to do here. Oh, Mary's been chatting at me. Let's see, um... Just killed a mini boss. Oh, and you're going to DC again? I'm sorry. Hmm. That looked fun. What? The running through a dungeon? Uh, one that you know that you're not going to survive? <laughs> now, where was she? Ah, that way. <clears> hmm. <throat> Oh, let's do that while we're in, uh, go to the, um, stable master while we're here. Go ahead and buy our point in speed. There, are many there we go. I don't understand why it dismounts you, but it does. Okay. <clears throat> Back in here. What on earth? Hey there, good looking. Jakarn? I haven't seen... What? What is he doing here? I'm going to talk to him, find out what's going on. Great day for a stroll, huh? Or, you know, a thrilling leap. Did you, did you just fall out of that window? No. No, I jumped out. Say, I know this is a little sudden, but... Are you looking to make a bit of gold? Meet me at the Sugar Bowl here in Remen. Got some business that might interest you. Wait, what's this all about? Talk soon. Jakar, get back here, you sneaky claw. <clears throat> huh. You there. Did you see a puny Breton run this way? Answer, Akka. Who are you? The Khajiit will rip out your mule and throat if you do not answer. Now, this one will ask just one more time. Did you see a scrawny Breton running away from this building? Yes or no? Let's see. Sure, I saw a Breton. He ran toward the crafting stalls. 
that rotten little. Oh. When Akon fired that shapeskin Jakarn, he will knock those stupid flat teeth right out of his head. Listen to me. If the guards ask if you saw us, you say no. Betray us, and the wrath of Tuheba will find you. Eljhar, we go! Okay, well... I'm getting confused, because battery... Battle Reef Tanner. Oh, that's one of the uh, day, uh, daily job things. Um, and I got myself... No, I didn't. I think I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. This, when you do the crafting dailies, this is where you turn them in. Right here. They'll, they'll be... Uh, They'll be, uh, they'll have li little arrows above them. So that means I come right over here. Oh, that was her name. The one that, the Dragon Quest. Ah, good to see you alive. I hope this means you've brought down some dragons. Could not be happier to hand out rewards, to be sure. I defeated the dragons. Wonderful. Here's a reward for all of your hard work, my valiant friend. Check back with me each day. These dragons won't keep themselves in check. The more dragons we kill before they spread, the better off everyone is. Come see me each day to join in on a dragon hunt. I assure you that a hefty reward is involved, too. See, that was the dragon daily. So, I'm going to... Whoops, wrong button. Go into our inventory, see what kind of... Stuff we've got, stuff we can get rid of. Open that up. Open that up. Okay, let's head back. Let's see. A diagram. Yeah. Let's see. Already in your library. Uh, let's see. A map. Unless, ah! Oh, that's right. You must have a bounty to use that. Yeah, the treasure maps, you can see, they just show something like that. And there's some kind of treasure. I've never used them, the treasure maps. It just... To be honest, I just don't want to mess with it. I know that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but let's see. I don't remember what it gave us. Wait, we don't want that. Ah, it gave us a waste item. Um, that's a little well, yeah, but that one gives us stamina, and we're not playing a stamina character. Well, that adds maximum magicka, but I don't want to lose. Ooh. Crafty Crafty Alfique set. I don't know if I'm going to keep a hold of that, but let's see. We're, we've got... We don't have a lot of room. Oh, I forgot. We've got three skill points because of the uh, shards. Let's see if there's anything that I want to use it on right off. Well, let's look at... Um... The crafting. Let's see. Well, we'll do lumberjack hireling because they'll they'll send us some stuff in the mail every day. Um. Let's see. Kenai jewelry. Ju yeah, jewelry seams. Okay, I've got one more point. Um, we'll do minor. Uh, hireling. There we go. Okay, so next I want to see how much stuff I can get rid of in my inventory. 
before we go and try to meet Doofus. I completely forgot about him. And he picked a bad time to show up, too. I think the only reason why it happened is because I was heading down that path and I hadn't been down there uh, before with her. Because I remember the quest line, but it happened a long time ago. I mean, like, really, really early on. Now, let's see. Deconstruct. What does that one say? Oh, the sale price. Okay. Then I won't... Um, I won't deconstruct it then. I'll sell it as soon as I'm done here. Let's see. Weapons. Okay. Sabatons of the Lich, huh? Oh, that's part of the Undertaker set. That would be kind of cool. I'm going to hold on to that one. I'll put it somewhere. Okay. Come over here to the clothing station. Oh, and another, another piece of uh, Crafty Alfique. So we'll keep that. And we'll get rid of the Darlic Bray. I think that's another sale item thing. Okay. Deconstruct. Okay, so now... Still have... Should be... Yeah, across here. Extract. Okay, so I think all that leaves is I think that's it. Just it's just stuff to sell. If I'm not mistaken. There's Nathonda. Potions brews and tonic stew. Mix it all up and see what happens. Well, why not? You'll never learn anything if you're too scared to try. <laughs> She's she's a mess. That's all there is to it. She's a mess. Let's see. I'm not going to sell those. I think I'm just going to toss them in the bank. Max health. Same with the poison and the and that stuff. Hmm. All righty. It's like, why did it not give me the option to destroy those? Huh. Oh, well. Oh, let's see. that I know you're probably thinking come on get with it Rings of ancient oh that's right that's yeah riverhold that's some pl a place we, we're gonna need to go is riverhold to drop those pieces off and now I'm not gonna go searching for all of them um we found what we found. Because I really don't want to be just running all over finding those pieces because, I mean, I don't know if you get anything. I mean, maybe I'll do it off off stream, go find the other pieces, and then I'll just wait. Um, and then sometime when I stream, we'll come back and I'll go and turn the rest of them in. 
But where is... Where'd it go? Let's see... Okay, there's that. So this. Maybe I didn't come to the jewelry. It says no jewelry to deconst deconstruct. How? That's... That was weird, because I got jewelry. All right. Or did I sell it all? Maybe I sold it. Did I sell it? I probably did. I just forgot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's why I didn't have anything to sell. Ooh, what was that? Oh. I think I need to repair. Yes, because she could do anything for a bit of gold. And I mean anything. It's never been so easy to recruit new test subjects. <laughs> Let's see. Store. Rep wow, look at that. Repair all. 537 gold. Woo! Alright. Let's see. Alright, so we need to go... Well, Dingus is not that far away. But we're gonna go to the bank. We're gonna go to the bank first. Well, that's on the way. Yeah, the sugar bowl is near the bank, so we're not going the wrong direction. And the bank is just at the top of these steps. Okay. Counting house. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, bank, deposit. Let's see. Deposit that and that. Um, that. You may not deposit that item in your bank. Why is it care? It's character bound. Of course it is. Fine. But these. See, you can only deposit one. Okay. Then why did I just deposit three of the other? already have one of the, okay so I can't put those in the bank so I can destroy those do that before I forget I think that's probably under supplies no slottable supplies that wouldn't make much sense but yeah all right where's destroy 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 um Let's see. A sign. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now, we've got that taken care of. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's go find Dingus McDingus. See what he wants. I don't believe it's a long quest line or quest chain. The sugar bowl. Could be. I don't know. Karn. Hey, they're good looking. I hope Akon and Eljan didn't give you too much trouble. They're both wanted by the city guards, so I doubt we'll be seeing them in a reputable establishment like this. Now, ready to make more gold than you've ever seen? Hmm. <laughs> you already know that's going to be a lie. I'm listening. Job simple. I need you to search Rimmon's sewers for a barrel hidden near an altar to Clavicus' vial. 
Under the lid, you'll find a note that lays out Tuheba's current whereabouts. She's the crime boss here and elsewhere. Kind of a big deal. And when I find out where Tuheba is, then what? You talk to her. Typically, I'd lay on the charm personally, but Tuheba and I aren't on great terms at the moment. I need you to smooth things over. She has my friend, see? Fezkar. She'll probably give him up if the price is right. You mean to pay a ransom? Nothing so romantic. Think of it as a down payment on some valuable information. See, Tuheba hired Fez and I to steal a gem called the Jewel of Bondar for her. Fez dashed it away, but didn't tell me where. We get Fez, we get the gem. Simple. How does all this lead to you falling out a window? Jumped. I jumped out. But sure, bit of a tale there. Akon and Eljan, those two charmers you met in the alley, work for Tuheba. They thought I might know where Fez hid the jewels, so they tied me up and worked me over for a while. He seems to have enjoyed it, I guess. <laughs> but you didn't know anything, right? Right. I tried to tell them they were wasting their time, but you know how thugs are. Anyway, the gangly one, Eljan, is moon-touched. Nice way of saying he's a half-mad sugar fiend. I had some moon sugar in my pocket, as you do, and he found it. What happened then? He went berserk. Little rascal started climbing the walls. And I mean literally climbing, like a cat up a tree. While Akon was busy prying Eljan off the ceiling, I slipped my bonds and went out the window. Easy as sneaking past a moth priest. So Tuheba hired you to find this jewel of Bandar. Tell me about it. It's an opal the size of a fist. I've never seen anything like it. Unfortunately, it's got some religious significance. That always complicates things. The jewel is a tribute to Bondar, the trickster god. Most every cut person elsewhere prays to him. Isn't it cat purse, not cut purse? I've never heard the term uh, cut purse. I always thought it was cat purse. Oh, well, um, why would Tuheba want you to steal a sacred Khajiit jewel? Actually, she hired us to steal it back. The Araxian snatched it up when that Tharn woman took over Rimen. So, really, we were just helping the downtrodden thieves and footpads of elsewhere. Heroic, right? If you successfully stole it, why is Tuheba mad at you? Once we found out how valuable it was, Fez demanded twice the price that Tuheba had promised us. Bad idea, but... Fez doesn't really do savvy, you know? Knowing she might take things poorly, he hid the jewel. Hmm. The rest is very uncomfortable well, history. Thanks for clearing that up, Mary. Um, but I'd always heard it as cat purse, kind of like cat burglar. I've never heard it as cut purse. Oh, well. Um, why is Suheba's location written on a note in a barrel? And in a sewer, no less, right? question. I know a Khajiit, Naruz. We spent some time together. Very brief, but very intense. Anyway, he works for Tuheba, so he's in the know. I called in a favor, and this is the result. So why didn't he just tell you in person? Naruz is a little anxious. Always thinks someone's watching him, you know? Honestly, I can't explain it. Even when we were together, he'd insist we meet up in old abandoned barns and musty basements. Exciting at first, but it got old quick. <clears throat> See, Mary, you're just too smart for your own good. Uh, so is there a reason you can't trek through the sewer yourself? Trust me, friend. My talents will do us much more good here. Tuheba's gonna want a fair amount of coin for Fezgar's release, especially now that I slipped out of her claws. While you get her location, I'll get the gold we need. You're going to steal to pay Fezgar's ransom. Not steal. Gamble. Well, all right, sometimes that's the same as stealing when I'm involved. But only because I'm very, very good. Full disclosure, we may need to make a swift exit, depending on how well I do here. It'll probably be fine. Probably. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, he's a piece of work. You know? I was gonna say that's 
almost like we have to go downstairs inside here. That wouldn't make much sense. Jeez, what are they doing? But it looks like... Or is this just lead, leading us up? It's just leading us out, out to Rimen. That was pointless. All right, fine to hit. Oh boy, so where is that at? Oh, way up there, okay. Um, how the heck do I get there? Um, well, let's just ride over there and find out what, and find out, because I'm not entirely sure, um, how to get to that spot, because it looks like there's a bunch of walls, but we'll find out, won't we? All right, let's see. much money do I have? <laughs> Nowhere close to getting a bag. Hurt. Okay, let's see. So maybe we're lucky. Maybe these won't be walls. Oh, I don't think they'd make it difficult. Well, those are walls. But it looks like it could prop. Well, looks can be deceiving. Dang it. Let's see. Yeah. Well, it was worth a shot, yeah. wasn't it? Can we? No. Dang it. Alright, so we've got to get over there. So it looks like we have to go outside Rimmon. Because I... Bleh, don't see a spot. Because that's a high wall. And it won't let me jump over this. Nope. All right, so we're going to have to find a way. Yeesh, let's not do that. All right, let's see. Down. And then. Let's. What do we got here? Maybe. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. That's a red flower. Is it anything? Nope. It's not a crafting material. All right. Never been so happy to make it to a sewer. <laughs> yeah, I understand what you're talking about. The moonlight. Hello. Let's see. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, that's kind of weird. Unless it's... Oh, well. Let's see what kind of good goodies we can get our grubby little hands on. Not a lot yet, apparently. All right. Oh, I thought that was a person. Well, it wasn't, but there's a couple of them down there. We have a spell blade and a knight. Them? Who them? 
me and my rat? Because that's all that's down here. One thing that's definitely going to be interesting when this new um, expansion pack uh, drops uh, next month, one of the things you be able, you, you can do is you can get a companion that can follow you, so you'll you'll always have somebody to fight with you, which is really kind of cool because I would really like to see who the uh, companions um, are going to be. That's a weird place for an apple. Yeah, there's the way we're supposed to get in there. And an empty backpack. Uh-oh. <laughs> That'll teach you. Alright, we're level 22, so this should be a safe place to get our level on. Okay, claim rewards. She's excited. Okay, um, let's just keep, let's just keep putting it in Magicka. Okay, she's got, now she's got a new point. Um, let's see. Because eventually, I think I'm going to have her in light armor. It doesn't really matter, though. Uh, let's see what we have. I'm looking for a, a passive. Your spell and physical... See, while a Gravelord ability is active, your spell and physical penetration are increased by 750. What Gravelord abilities do I have? Ricochet Skull and Stalking Blast Bones. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Let's keep going. Ooh. Anything up here of interest? A Soul Gem that we can take. Nice. Coins. And coins. Oh, I was going to say, where is that shadow coming from? And, oh, I for Clavic, yeah, Clavicus Vile. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's what that little statuette is. Clavicus Vile and his dog. Um the uh, Skyrim game um, you get a quest line where you de um, actually have to deal with them. Well, you don't deal with him in a normal sense. You go to one of his shrines and he talks to you through, you know, th through the statue. But the dog talks. Oh, I thought those were uh, coins. Hmm, what do we got here? A bookshelf. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, probably, I'm sure, just junky weapons. There's a wardrobe. Oh, yay. Linen gloves. A drink. Wait, sack. Okay. Suspicious barrel. It doesn't look suspicious. Okay, all right, sweet meat. After this favor, we're even, yes? For now, anyway. Uh, Tuheba travels with her cotier to Darkpool Mine, a sulfur pit far to the west. You should hurry, though. This one does not know how long she plans to stay there. See you around, lover boy. N. Okay. I have to talk to. What? Why is? Why does it make it look like he is just like right there? I mean, it shows that he's on the other side of a door. Oops. It's 
splash, 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 splash. Oh, I thought she would have respawned by now. Alright. Oh. Drain the traitor. That was a fairly realistic sound. That was nice. I still can't believe I didn't run into Jakarna until now. It's so weird that... It... Uh-oh. We lost game sound. Well, that's a pain. Because I don't want to keep going with without sound. check something let's see make sure it's one of my settings didn't go weird on me um, Nope, that didn't fix it. Let me see. I understood what what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's what caused it.
I don't know, folks. I it's, this happened to me once before. Let's see. Understand what has happened. To cause the sound to go, basically, kind of go out. That's still plugged in, but I don't know. I can't hear anything. Um, shoot. I don't know if it's going to do any good, but I'm going to try shutting down and coming back. So let's just see what happens. Back at, we'll back out all the way. Now you're all probably just going to see a black screen. Yeah. That's okay. Just we'll go back in. Come on. No sound. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's... I mean, could it be my... I mean, I guess it could be my headset. But I doubt it. Mary, are you still are you still on there? Are you able to uh, hear game sounds? Cause I'm I can't I can't hear anything. And I don't understand why it just stopped. See, there's no sound. And I. Don't know. Wait. Let's, no, that shouldn't do it. Let me see. I'll look. I don't know. 
let's see. You can hear the gra you can hear the grass, so you're able to hear everything. Can okay, so are you able to hear her? Uh, the lightning blast and everything. I mean, I guess it's possible. It could have been my he my my headset. You can hear the staff. Okay. Then I got to figure out... I don't know. Maybe my maybe the headset went out on me. Well. Then, since you still... Since y'all still can hear, I'm going to go ahead and keep going. It's going to bug me until I can figure out what happened. It probably... I guess it could have been my headset. That finally it popped its last pop. I don't know. Because I, like I said, I don't know what else. Let me, let me look again. Um, well, I shouldn't need to, need to change it if, if y'all, well, if y'all can hear. Let's see. Desktop audio. Properties. It's at default. I think it might might be my headset. Because it's showing for my desktop audio, it says speakers, and it's saying my Yeti, and my Yeti doesn't have speakers. Um, NVIDIA High Definition Audio. What does that say? E, E320 or something like that? That could be my cam... Uh, webcam. The other one says speakers, THX special. So I'm thinking my headset's not uh, not registering, looks like. Well, let's see. What... Let's see if I can't. I'm going to take a second and I'm going to unplug my headset. Oh, I heard it pop. I... It's making popping noises, but we'll see. Um, let's go back into properties and see if Headset. Yep, that's what happened. That's what happened. All right. Sound. All right, for some reason it just kicked my headset off. All right. Sorry about that, everyone. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if you couldn't hear anything. So... This is all this is all a learning experience. I mean, you know, something something happens and I have to try to figure out how to fix it. Luckily, I've been able to figure out everything. Um so far, I haven't had to seek help. No longer chasing invisible butterflies. Oh. What a relief! I was worried about them. That is good news indeed. But do we know what happened there? Of course, I asked. You know me. It seems that Shekharath was driving the monks insane until someone came along to stop him. Gah! Shekharath, of all things. Yes, this one does know you. And this one is happy that the monks are more themselves again. Chasing invisible butterflies. This one should have known it was the mad cat. I just, I had to go over there so we could listen to it. Plus, I love listening to the way she says, says that. I don't know what those are. But, oh well. 
They're no longer chasing invisible butterflies. I don't know why I love the way that sounds. I just do. Anyways. All right, let's... Ooh, so right. close. Better luck next time, friend. What? Why did I hear his voice when it says downstairs? I don't think I was... Dang! Hey, you're back. I was just wrapping up my business with these fine Khajiit. Did you find the note? Where's Tuheva? Um, if the note is accurate, she set camp near Darkpool Mine. Huh. Makes sense. We hit the Uraxian treasure caravan just outside Riverhold. She'd want to be as far away from there as possible. Good. Darkpool Mind is in southwestern elsewhere. Tuheba favors the wilderness, so you may have to search a bit. Looks like you won a lot of gold while I was gone. What can I say? What I lack in charm, I make up for in luck. This gold should more than pay for Fez's release. I'm trusting you to deliver it. You could keep it, sure, but... This is pocket change compared to what we'll make on the jewel. Where should we meet once I have Fez's car? Once I settle my accounts with these folks, I'll make my way to the mine. Don't worry about finding me. I'll find you. As for Tuheba, show respect but stand your ground. She appreciates a little swagger. Just don't overthink it and you'll be fine. All right, I'll deliver the gold and meet you when I have Fez's car. All right, cats and kittens. Like my Uncle Edmund always says, best walk while you're ahead. You have yourselves a great night, huh? Hi. Not so soon, Pinkskin. You have yet to play thy beast. Look, it's been a real pleasure playing with you, but I got a friend waiting on me. How about we pick things up tomorrow, huh? Double or nothing? Well, you will at least let thy Biza and Cherjard walk you home, yes? The streets of Rimen are no place for a lone Breton with heavy pockets. You know, that's a generous offer, and I'm truly flattered. But you really don't need to worry. I'm spry as a cricket. Pockets light, pockets heavy, whatever. Enough. Sit. Now. Do not take us for fools, Chakan. <laughs> well, looks like he's going to be playing a little bit more. Oh, that's somebody's, uh, combat pet. Alright. So, we've got a little bit of traveling. Alright, but first we're going to go to, um, Riverhold and dump off those, um, pieces to that, what's it? That mural or whatever the heck they were calling it. All right, let's see. Take the way shrine, It'll be a lot quicker. All right. Ah, I hate it when I do that. Okay, river hold way shrine. Oh. And Riverhold is right there. But yeah, I always love it when they say you're going to make a fortune and then you get like a couple hundred, you know, gems. And you're like, wait a dang minute. No, that's not... I don't know why I was looking for a uh, map marker. I think it's on the is it on the back side of this one? I heard that a necromancer named Bastari stopped the undead plague in the Ashen Scar. Though maybe she helped the person. How the hell did you two get here so damn fast? Right. Wounds, that's good news. This one never wants undead flowing out of the Ashen Scar. More solutions Man. before more problems is a better trend. Agreed, but I want to reiterate how suspicious I am of this necromancer's motives. Any necromancer's motives. I don't know. This seems too convenient. No, this one agrees with you. 
always question a necromancer's motives. Those who do not inevitably suffer. Okay, so I'm thinking it must be on this side. Okay. Wait, is it on the back side of this one? One of these has the... Oh, I think it's over here. I think this is where the... Uh... Nope, that's a locked door. Over here? House of Histories. Um, okay, this is not it. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, there we go. Just got myself confused. All right. So we've got four. Look at all those empty spaces. Ugh. No, we've got three. Well, that put one, two, three more. Okay. So that's out of the way. That's three less things in our... Well, actually, I don't know if that um, affects our inventory or not. Now we're going to head to talk to Tuheba. Well, we'll find out where she is first. I'm sure we'll have to take a way, sh uh, a way shrine. Because he said it was like far south. Alright, let's see. First, let's face the way she, she is. Alright, so that way I can find out where she's at. Um, oh, she's way down there. All right. So we will take the Scars End Way Shrine. Okay. Yep, that's it. All right. Oh, you got some more uh, body mark. It's some more mar body and face markings. Cool. Yeah, and learning that Windows is a pain in the rear. Yeah. All right. So. Oh. Was that a big drop? Uh. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo. Yes. Um. So we just need to take the road. Hmm. All right. There shouldn't be too much left of this uh, quest line. At least I'm hoping. Because I want to get us to our next region. Like I've been talking about, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's slightly aggravating when you're talking about doing it and then, you know, you can't, well, we can, but, you know, I'm not going to leave this quest behind, just a regular quest. Can't do the ones in the public dungeons. That's the one from Limen, the one that deals with Jakan. All right, there's Tuheba. Is what Akan says true? Do you find common cause with the Breton Jakarn? I should warn you, people who travel with Jakarn rarely meet pleasant ends. Yes, I know Jakarn, but I'm here to pay for Feskar's release. Ha! A ransom, is it? And why would anyone pay gold for that foolish backstabber? Ah, let me guess. 
Jakar believes Fetzkar will lead you to the Jewel of Bandar if you free him. Because they are friends, yes? Adorable. <laughs> will you accept this gold for Fetzkar or not? <laughs> you are direct. Good. I will be direct also. Give me this ransom of yours. If it is a fragrant sum, I will tell you where to find Fesgar. Beyond that, I offer nothing. Now, shall we do business, or shall I tell Akan and Eljon to remove you? See, give ransom. You have a deal. Now, where's Fesgar? Fesgar would not give up the gem, so we sold them to a slave trader. The slaver died, but his ledger should contain the name of Fesgar's new owner. Look for it in Darkpool Mine. What is that look? You paid for information. I provided it. Go now. Fine. I'll find the slave trader's ledger in the Darkpool Mine. I would be careful in Darkpool Mine, sweet meat. Soft-headed cultists took it over shortly after we sold your friend. That is how the slave trader died. The cultists tug on Maroon's tail. In hopes he will scratch their bellies. Pathetic. <laughs> so you couldn't beat the location of the jewel out of Fesgar? No, we could not. This troubles me because I take great pride in my creativity. People always speak, eventually. But something sealed his lips tight as a drum. Something more than simple force of will. What do you mean? A small-time cut purse withstands hours of aggressive interrogation, then suffers enslavement to protect his prize? A simple gem? No, this does not add up. That jewel has buried its claws in your friend. I do not know how or why, but it has. Did you know about this power when you hired Feskar and Jakar to steal it? I did not, but I do now. This will not stop me from claiming it eventually, though. Charms like this only work on weak minds. My mind is far from weak. Why are you willing to sell a fellow Khajiit into slavery? Mind your tone. Akkad loves cutting out self-righteous tongues. You are an outsider, so I will assume you speak from ignorance. Bandar rewards the clever and frowns on the clumsy. Fezkar, despite his charms, was clumsy. So you're saying it's Fez's fault you sold him into slavery? There you are, spoken like a true child of Bandar. Fezkar and I made a bargain in good faith. Fezkar reneged on that bargain in the dull-witted fashion that is his trademark. His clumsiness and dishonesty made him a slave, not me. If you catch Jakarn again, do you plan to sell him into slavery too? From what Akan tells me, Jakarn did not know Fezgar betrayed us. Good news for Jakarn, yes. Return my gem and I will consider showing your clever friend some leniency. I make no promises, though. Okay. Alright, so... Well, the... Well, that's not too far away. Um, I don't think water's supposed to look like that. Sure, I've been been in here before. Hadas, that name sounds familiar. Well, yeah, I've been in here. It's a delve, so yeah. <sighs> well, <laughs> hopefully it's not too far. Oh, and of course, well. Let's see if we can... Let's 
Let's see if we can take that direction. If it'll let us. Oh, jeez, we're... Uh-oh. Oh, of course! Good, this is the way we need to go. I don't care if I pull a few people with me. That way? Yep. Well, now I don't have a choice. Think you're going? Where'd that come from? Ah. Okay. So. Try. See how many we drag with with us this time. Oh, oh crap! Oh, let him fight the ogrim. That'll work. So you don't get hung up yet. Whoa, camel! Well, I get to stand here and fight the brothers ugly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seriously? And no nothing from either one of them. What a rip-off! Oh, come on, really? Oh, this way. Oh, I lost where I was supposed to go, so let's just come back over here. Too many, too many. Another one? Jeez. Sometimes pulling a whole bunch to get where you need to go is not the best plan. Case in point. Ah! Where is... What's up here? Slave Master's Bag. Slave Trader's Ledger. Talk to, to Hyba. Well, what do I have to do? Make it back out the regular entrance? Yep. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to let me uh, use my mount. No, you don't. Wow, that had a sticky sound to it, if that makes sense. Almost like it was oil. Maybe it was. Maybe that's why it had that color. Ugh. Maybe that's why it had that color to it. Oh, roar yourself. I don't know how the heck she was able to do that a second time. Oh, man. Ran out of stamina. But I'll keep... Well, 
Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, that was really... Okay, so really annoying. Ah! We're almost out. No! Was that the right way? It was. Ah! Yourself. Now, I won't be able to leave until combat's over, I believe. Let's see. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm wrong a lot, apparently. Alright, so where is... She, oh. So I guess we're supposed to take this to her. Okay. <laughs> you return. Lightly singed, but no worse for the wear. Lightly singed? Why do you come back to me? You have what you seek, yes? I found this ledger, but it's encoded. So it is encoded. What do you want me to do about it? I gave you the gold. Can you translate this or not? Can you believe the tongue on this one, Bihargo? Oh, you have not been introduced yet. Bihargo is my sench brother. He eats people for me. So serious. I respect your bullheaded insistence, even if it smacks of disrespect. Give it here. What does it say? Hmm. It seems Fesgar is as poor a miner as he is a thief. They sold him to another batch of slavers based in the Tangle, an overgrown cavern that Ruddy Fang bandits use as a base. So there, our business is concluded, yes? Off with you. Off with you. All right. Oh, he's not... Look at him. Just hanging out right over there. Little punk. Where are you going? Don't make me chase you down. Well, that looked promising. Any conversation with a crime boss you can walk away from, right? So, where's Fez? Did she cut him loose? I'm afraid not. But she told me where he is. Ready Thang slavers are holding him in the tangle. And she took the gold anyway for one measly piece of information? <laughs> Classic to Hava. So the tangle, huh? I know the place. Those ruddy fang bandits are idiots. So getting Fez out of there shouldn't be a problem. Of course, we have to find him first. You think finding him will be a challenge? For strapping heroes like us? Of course not. These outlaws are half as lazy as Bosex henchmen and Stros Mackay. And they are... They probably keep their slaves close to the entrance. Easier to move them in and out, and easier for us to spring. Uh, all right, I'll meet you at the tangle. Why does he still have a marker over his head? So, are we headed into the tangle or what? I'll admit this is a romantic spot, but we should probably rescue Fez first, huh? Mellow out. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It's creepy. Uh, would you still... Would you still want to free Feskar if you didn't need the jewel? Can't I want to free him and want the jewel? Look, Fez and I have double-crossed each other more times than we can count, but only over gold. When it comes to life and death, we help each other. Actually, a double-cross is how Fez and I first met. Did you double-cross him, or did he double-cross you? Both. Great thieves think alike, right? We met years ago. Sentinel. I was taking an inventory of a local merchant ship's valuables when I stumbled across a cat doing the same. That was Fez. After a debate, we agreed to split the loot. After Fez's car double-crossed you? He slipped past me and flagged down a guard on the way out. Would have landed me in jail if that guard hadn't been the same one I bribed to get on the ship. The guard arrested Fez instead, and we split his loot. <laughs> Still, I had to respect the effort. Remind me why retrieving the jewel of Bandar is so important. Why? Plenty of reasons. Take your pick. First, the heaps of gold people will pay us to acquire it. Second, it's a Khajiit cultural treasure, and it's always nice to return a cultural treasure, right? 
Makes you feel all warm and heroic inside. All right, let's see. Did that do it? That did it. That... I was wondering. It's like, I guess I didn't talk to him enough. All right, so... We have to go to the Tangle. Where... Way the heck over there. Of course. Are we close to a way shrine? Yes and no. Not close enough for my money. So... So we have to travel north now. Yeah. Well. Hopefully this won't be much longer. I honestly don't remember. Well, we'll be there quick, uh, in fairly short order. Well, if we don't run out of stamina. It looks like it's up this way, according to that little marker. Yeah. Terror bird. There you are. Any questions before we leap into this slippery hedge maze? Yeah, how the hell did you get here so damn quick? He's on foot. I rode. Well, enter the tangle. So see, if we would have found him first, we then we wouldn't have had to just go go to these on our own. We would have had a reason to go uh, go to these. Uh... Oh. We would have had a reason to go to these delves. They weren't kidding when they said it happened right up front. Oh. Nice try. This is creative. All right, now we'll talk to Fez. No, stay back. Don't touch me. Easy does it. What's the matter? What's the matter? The giant spike trap under Fezgar's feet. It could impale Fez at any moment. Why did you step on a spike trap? Who deliberately says, oh, look, a spike trap. I think I'll step on it. See what happens. Not by choice. The ruddy fang trappers forced Fez onto this plate. They play this game with new slaves to break their spirits and teach them to listen. If Fezgar steps off this plate, he becomes a Fez kebab. Fez does not want to be a Fez kebab. Fez kebab. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing up there, Mary. Um, despite just the dog running around, I don't know. Yeah, I know you would chase him. Shame on you. All right, calm down. Is there any way to disarm the spike plate? You and Jakarn come to free Fezgar? Bright moons, yes, free me. But to disarm the plate, you pull the chain over there. But you need a key to unlock it. Of course. Look for a chest deeper in the tangle. I know they keep the key inside it. Please, hurry. All right, sit tight. I'll go find this key. I'll keep watch here in case any guards wander by. You see if you can find the key he's talking about. Deal? Like I have a choice. All right, we're going to try to... Let's see, are we going that way? No, we're going this way. Don't mind me. Coming through, hot soup. 
Hong Kong, beep, beep. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, where to now? This way. <laughs> My ultimate's ready, so, I mean, if I have to, if I get stopped, I can throw that down. Which I'll probably have to do. Let's see. Is he gonna... Looks like he's... Ah! Nope. Oh, you, huh? So it looks like we had one that... Uh, that made it. So all the others went back. there's another one over there. Oh, there's two of them. Mm, die loudly. Okay. Slaver's chest. Trapper's key. Talk to Feskar. Alright, let's see. Make sure we're going the right way again. I mean, it's kind, I mean, it's kind of dumb in a way that it allow you to run, but won't allow you to um, use a mount. I mean, I understand why they don't let you use a mount. Because they don't want you just plowing by everybody. But you can be dismounted. I mean, you saw that happen to me. I got dis I got dismounted after um, the mount takes too much damage. It it'll uh, toss you on your head. Oh, I heard that. Okay. Come on, run over here. That was risky. I almost died. Seafez, there's our friend. Right on time. Right on time. I didn't know I was being timed. But there's the chain behind behind Jakarn. Alright. There you are. Did you find the key? Faith Carl's fur falls out from all this stress. Yes, I've got the key. Bandar be praised. Slide the key into the lock beneath the chain. Turn it to the right and do you hear it click? Slowly. The key out before you pull the chain. Otherwise, this car is skewered like a tasty pig. <laughs> Not yet. Tell us where you hid the jewel of Bandar first. Tell you? So you can leave me here to die? Your new friend Feskar was not born yesterday, Walker. I will tell you. Only that the jewel is hidden safe in a lockbox on a high cliff. You will not find it without my help. Now, free face car. Please. <laughs> Fine. I'll get you out of here. Steady hands, friend. I'll just be right over here. Coward. Spike plate chain. Disarm. She didn't even touch it. Last. Thank you both. Now, all this key finding and trap disarming is hard work, yes? You earn a rest of the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Double cross. This is your friend, remember. Uh, really 
should have seen that coming, Jakarn. Sneaky little bastard. Where did he even hide that gas bomb? Anyway, you know what? Let's not think about that. <laughs> what now? How do we find your friend? Friend. Right. I hate to admit it, but good old Fez is sliding rapidly toward dopey rival. Sometimes colleague at best. Ugh. Anyway, Fez grew up in the stitches. Cliffside settlement above the scar. He might have hidden the gem there. Fez did say uh, he hid the gem on a very high cliff. Exactly. It fits. Still, the Stitches is a big place, and he's got a head start. Fortunately for us, Akon and these bandits did a number on his legs. He hobbled out of here like an 80-year-old stork. If we move fast, we might catch him. All right, where do we start? We should split up. Famous last words, right? Whoever finds that sneaky Khajiit first holds him down until the other arrives. Then we all find the gem together, yeah? Mara's mercy. I'm starting to talk like a cat. I've been in elsewhere too long. To the stitches, then. See you there. Good looking. Oh. Stop calling me that. It's creepy. I was going to say, what the heck is that light? But then I realized that's the exit, dummy. I hope they're not going to come pounding on my door. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. So where are we headed? Oh, nice. Well, the Stitches Way Shrine. Go search for him. Let's see where's that one says below. All right, just want to make sure. Okay, we've searched one spot apparently. Wait, what does this one say? Above. Okay, that one says below. And that one says below. Wonderless. Okay. Uh. Jeez, how, I thought that there wasn't. I thought there was less spots than that. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's. Let's see. Um, does it still say below? No, it says above. Does it say below now? No, it still says above. Okay. I know I'm still searching for him. That says, but that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> How about that? that? Jules made you crazy. No one can make that jump. You lie! Fanta smiles on me, Jakarn. Riches, glory, all will belong to Fezkar. Fez, damn it, don't do this. Stop! Fez! God damn it, Fez, you idiot. Why did... Wait. It's not that far. It's far enough. 
Oh yeah, I can make that. Definitely. Chikar, what are you doing? You see it? The Jewel of Bondar is right there on that cliff. Right where Fez dropped it for safekeeping. It's not that far. Not really. Nobody can make that jump, Jakar. Fesgar just died trying. Sure, but he was injured. And not half as athletic as me. Akon worked him over, and the wind wasn't right. Besides, he was never a good jumper. That jewel will make me... us... rich. Like royalty. Wealthy, irresistible royalty. Look, it's so close. Think, Jakarn. Your friend just fell to his death. If you jump, you'll join him. Fez didn't... Wait. What? Why am I standing at the edge of a cliff? Why would I jump off it? Lord have some mercy. That's Fez's body down there. What was I thinking? Jumping off this cliff is insane. There you go. Step back from the cliff. I really need a drink. You need a drink, right? I need a drink. Meet me at the Goiter's Gulf, would you? We'll settle up there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna jump. I just need to clear my head and say goodbye to a friend. Yes, yeah. you stupid, stupid cat. I miss your mangy hide. And just so you know, no, you cannot get to that chest. There's no way. I've tried. I came from the top here and kept coming down. But, unfortunately, the ledges would be like this. So, you would come off here and you can't get, fall inward. So, you just can't get to it. And I tried several times. So, say, now how the heck do I get back up since I fell? <laughs> um... Let's see, that takes me there. Um, let's see. Probably have to go this way. Let's see, because the Goiter's Gulp is up there. Okay. So, um, I'm one. Yes, I'm thinking about it. Because I'm looking at the I'm looking at the time too. I'm looking at what you know what time it is. I was wanting to be done 15 minutes ago, but I think I think we're at the tail end. So we'll see. Is he? Is he around the corner, or is he upstairs? Well, look at this, Akon. It's just who we were waiting for. Interesting. So we meet again, Bakar. I see you, but not your friends. Where are Jakar and that mangy idiot, Fesgar? Fesgar is dead. He jumped off a cliff trying to get the jewel of Bandar. Coolly? Dark moons, eh? Fez was stubborn and foolish, but he did not deserve to die. This may surprise you, but I did not want Fesgar dead, just soundly punished. Seems I was right about the jewel after all. What do you mean? I warned you before. There is a hex on the jewel. I do not usually place much stock in folk tales, but the clan mother say. Bandar created this gem to teach the Khajiit that some prizes are not worth the risk. Lesson learned, I'd say. So the jewel drives people crazy? With greed, yes. Perhaps I made a mistake in sending young Fesgar to recover it. Perhaps I made a mistake in sending that sweet-tongued Breton as his partner. Speaking of Jakarn, are you still angry with him? Let's find out, shall we? Hello, Jakarn. Hmm. 
I was expecting him to say something. Wait, there's a shiny. It's a long shiny. All right, let's talk to Jakarn. Well, this is awkward. What's the play, Jakarn? No tricks this time. One way or the other, I need to settle things with Tuheva. Otherwise, I'll never have any peace. Take this for your trouble, huh? Assuming Tuheba doesn't kill me, you should join us for drinks. Thanks again, good looking. So, here we are, Tuheba. Ready to clear the air, or should I start throwing stuff? Peace, Jakar. All I want is the gem. Now, I will ask you one last time. Where is the jewel of Vandar? I'll take you to it. Just promise me you'll feed it to your cat, or toss it in a vault or something. You have my word. Look at us, making nice. This calls for a toast. Suggestions? To bold foolish, Beskar, I think. A Khajiit who died as he lived. <laughs> yeah. To Fez. All right. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's not do anything stupid and get ourselves killed. Well, what am I talking about? I've made a couple of jumps deliberately. Don't know what the heck she was swinging at. All right, people. It is time. We for, Just before I shut her down, we're leaving elsewhere. So say goodbye to elsewhere, folks. Like I said, we know, might come back for, like, crafting stuff. But I know where I'm taking us. We are going north. Here we go. See? North, north, north. Now we're going east. Here's where we're headed. Vardenfell. Another great place that I've done, that I've completed. <clears throat> Another area I've been wanting you all to see. Hollinger? Canon Valusa? Well, let's um, let's let me look at the map so I can see what's what I'm seeing. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and at least pick one up and work our way to it to the town, and that's where we'll stop. Bah, dull clawed pieces of how could this happen, Falura? Ah. 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 Yes. Hello. What are you doing up in the middle of nowhere? Going for a walk? This one often walks. Around here, I mean. Are you alright? You seem nervous. Nervous? Me? Ha! <laughs> Do not make this one laugh. Hollins here is just... Just horrible. Bandits kicked this one out of his home and stole his crops. Hollins here is just a simple farmer, you see. They will make me a starving pauper. I could help you. You will help? Oh, bless you. This one planted his crops in a cavern nearby. Zane Cipriu, please, retrieve my notes and poison the water. Without proper irrigation, the plants will wither. It pains me to kill them, but these bandits must not prosper. I'll collect these notes and poison the crops for you. You are a true hero, Walker. A brave and noble warrior. Palura and I are forever in your debt. What exactly you're gr are you growing in there? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was just... Uh, hey! You and I have the same belt buckle. What are the chances? Huh? Don't change the subject. I am sorry. This one is a nervous wreck. Palangir is growing a rare Kajiti herb. Very delicate. And very desirable. 
Good for seasoning fish and soothing the humors. Satisfied? We'll see. Do not worry, Walker. You can depend on Hallinger. Who's this Falura? Falura is this one's loyal farmhand. She is not very bright, and she is very lazy. Always scribbling notes and asking silly questions. But I keep her on anyway. Hallinger always does right by his friends. Can you look for a better farmhand? I could, but this one likes Falura. Plus, she probably knows too much. Knows too much about what? Oh, uh, she knows too much about my farming practices. Yes, Hallinger has many secret farming tricks, <laughs> like using fish heads and guar dung for fertilizer. But this one has already said too much, yes? Do we trust him? <laughs> Alright, I know where I have to go. Let me see. Um, I know we're headed that way, but that's not the way we need to go. Because we need to head back this way. Back into this little town. Where we'll be safe. So, let's see. where. Ah, here, here, here we go. This is... Starting, starting quest. Lord Vivek, we failed you. Forgive me, Outlander, but I have enough to deal with. I'm just a simple tribunal priest, and the trouble at the ancestral tomb was too much for even our buoyant armager to deal with. I have failed, Lord Vivek, and left a colleague alone at the tomb. What happened at the ancestral tomb? Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano Ancestral Tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and our guard was seriously hurt. I barely got her to safety. But we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Uh, three of you? You mentioned another priest. Canon Levul. He remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions, but there's no way he can get past the Daedra or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. I can go to the tomb and help Canon Leveu. Dalazar, what's wrong? Someone help! By the three! First a wounded armager, now this! By dawn and dusk, evil creeps through the shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Th those words, what do they mean? What? What happened? Merciful Azura, the mother soul spoke through you. It's a miracle! Okay, let's talk to Canon Vazla again. Or Lord Vivek, protect me. That was Azura, the queen of the night sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, Outlander. I'm surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. What just happened here? The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. I've heard of such occurrences, of course, but to witness such an event. She said evil creeps through the land. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we saw at the tomb. Tell me more about your mission at the tomb. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Urnsi and we were forced to flee. Daedra? Vile creatures from oblivion. You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires, but never Daedra. Please, if they're still there, they'll rip Canon Levul apart. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. What's a buoyant armager? The Voyant Armagers comprise one of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Ornsi. Those monsters went straight for her. 
Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. Red Mountain? Where are you from? Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste Flynn. The mountain sits at the center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping nix shaking its leg. Lately, however, it seems to be waking from its long slumber. Tell me more about Azura. Azura is the cruel but wise Daedric Prince of Dawn and Dusk. She's one of the good Daedra, for what that's worth. But for her to speak through an innocent means something terrible is about to happen. Why else would she dare Lord Vivek's wrath? Yeah, one thing that they've done, and I, I'm not, I don't really understand why, um, but whether they're the the Daedra, you know, the Daedric princes or the the other ones, I can't remember, you know, it doesn't matter. Regardless if they're male or female, they're, re they're referred to as a prince. I don't know why it's not prince and princess. Maybe because princess doesn't sound as high ranking. I don't know. I don't understand it. But Azora is a female and she is a Daedric prince. So there's that. Back at it because we need to get done here. Uh, Lord, Vivec, Lord Vivec and Azura don't get along. What do they teach you where you come from? Lord Vivec's a living god. Azura is merely the anticipation of Sofasil. Vivec stands as the present and the future, while Azura clearly represents Vardenfell's past. So no, they don't get along. Who's Lord Vivec? You don't know Lord Vivec. One of the living gods of the Dunma Tribunal. You must be new to our land, Outlander. But there's no time. Canon Levool remain behind. He needs help if he's going to get inside the tomb and ask Vivek's questions. Vivek's a living god? Yes. One of the god monarchs of Morrowind. He's the warrior poet who lives in a grand palace in Vivek's city. Lord Vivek sent us on this holy mission to request information from Canon Levool's ancestor. It breaks my heart that I have failed him. Goodbye. All right, I am going to get us just inside this town because I'll feel a little bit, little bit better. Yeah, Sedanin. Okay. Oh yes, Mary. I'm, um, I'm in Vardenfell. What are we drinking to? All right. So I'm gonna face us. What? What is that? Oh yeah, that's one of the quests for here. Um. So I'll be facing in inward because that was the main quest line, and we got side quests in here. But that's gonna be it uh, for today. It was a little bit longer than I was anticipating, but. I had problems with the sound, you know, with it kicking off my headset, so I wasn't planning on it, obviously, but it happens. But we're done with Elsewhere, and now we're here in Vardenfell, Morrowind, Land of the Elves, and... A whole new area, new people to meet, new monsters to fight, new stuff to get, and new adventures. So, that's going to do it for today, folks. Um, I do believe my next one is going to be Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds right. Yeah. Wednesday, providing nothing comes up, uh, will be, be my next stream. And then we'll pick up right where we left off with uh, with our girl in Vardenfell this time. So, <laughs> hope you're looking forward to it because, well, you saw how long it took us to get through uh, through elsewhere. So, you can just, just kind of gauge about it's going to take us probably about that long it's probably going to be about 15 16 episodes maybe i don't know um but it's going to take a while 
for us to get through Vardenfell. There's a lot to do, and we'll do it together. So uh, thanks, all of you, for coming um, and watching this. Thank you, Mary, for being there. Uh, please, anyone that comes in, don't forget to give me a follow. doesn't cost a thing to follow, but it helps me out. gets me higher up in there so that eventually... Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to become a partner on Twitch. Uh, affiliate, I think, is the one I'm probably going to do. But I've got to get more followers. So tell your friends, family, loved ones, maybe even some of your not-so-loved ones. <laughs> uh, tell them to come by and check the videos out and give me a follow. And like I said, I'll be doing my next stream uh, next Wednesday uh, morning at 8 o'clock. And uh, who knows, one of these days, if I get, an, get, enough, uh, get enough followers to where I have a bunch of act, active people in the, in the chat, um, I might. I've actually even considered maybe doing like a 12-hour stream. Um, I wouldn't be able to do anything crazy like a 24-hour unless I was on vacation just because I'm an overnighter. And it would just really, really throw my uh, sleep schedule out of whack so but a 12 hour I could do but we're gonna wait until you know we get some more uh, some more followers for that so anyways folks thank you again for joining me uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll be here and join me next Wednesday so we can actually start questing in Vardenfell so thanks again folks and I guess I'll see you soon. <laughs> Take care, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.